Your first obligation as a return server is to get the ball away from that person. I basically got three op three options. Crossword return is your best one, number one. Down the line is probably your worst one. And the lob is a cautionary shot because you may or may not hit a good lob. The person that may or may not have a good overhead. This is to my backhand side, so the options are limited. I go with the inside out return, but notice how I split and move in right here. Split. And I actually move back. I didn't realize I moved back. I stand about three steps behind the baseline. I step forward on serve impact, split. I'm trying to watch only the ball, not watching that person. Get my by weight coming forward. Hit the inside out. And notice how we all shift. My partner moves to the right. The person in the net moves back. And the, the reason is that the possible angles we have to cover. When the serve, the shot goes wide, the person has to go wide to cover the alley. And I have to come in. But I don't have to really cover short angle. I have time for short angle because if they hit the short angle shot, it's a slower shot. It's very difficult to hit a short angle very hard and get that cutting angle. And notice that the person on the other side has a shift because the partner's off court. When your partner's off court, you have to take the whole center of the court and play singles to maintain coverages in court and to, to keep the gap between you and your partner very small. So that my shot goes wide, the partner goes wide, the person in the net goes wide also. You see right there, now the shot's coming back to me, but notice this, there's a shift back. The person in blue must shift to cover line. He's, covering, he's going to cover line because I possibly could go to the line shot. I take the middle shot, which is high percentage. I thought I had the winner right here. Notice the partner turns his head to see a shot. When your partner turns your head to see a shot and you see your partner has a weak shot and it's going to be a lob, you should run back. He should have backed up. But maybe he doesn't back up because he knows where I am. And since I'm in the way, the odds of him getting hit are very slim. But I do this, I duck. And by ducking, this allows my partner to have the whole court and he can attack anywhere he wants. If I don't duck, my partner should hit the ball back to the person ba back on the baseline. But since I duck, he can go right over my head. See the whole thing again? Partner turns his head. He should have ran right there, but he didn't run. He just stays cover, which is very odd. So take, keep that in mind. Work together and duck so your partner can attack the whole court.